Number 4. This is Canadian 1979 Elizabeth II one cent struck on a wrong planchet. Graded in mint state 60 red by annex. Small beaded circles are not fully struck, but alterings of obverse are present and crisp. Device elements display nowhere on high points. Main distractions are these large carbon spots here and there. It was sold for $132. Number 3. Here is Canadian 1960 Elizabeth II silver dollar in mint state 66. Attractively toned specimen struck by Royal Canadian Mint. A surprising conditional and aesthetic outlier for Elizabeth's earlier Canadian issues, witnessed here in a premium gem preservation. Full in cobalt, cerulean, and autumnal hues, it has terrific eye appeal. With actual silver weight of 0.6 ounces this superb gem ended up selling for $2,640. Number 2. This is 1971 Canadian dollar coin struck on a silver planchet. An exceedingly rare strike on a silver planchet weighing 17 grams. According to Heritage Auctions, although the specimen has been designated as a mint error by PCGS, this is perhaps unlikely, as smaller silver planchets of this weight were not in use at the time at the Royal Canadian Mint, and the 32mm size is the same as the specification for the standard nickel issue. Lightly handled and reflective, with a care and preservation that places the offering at the cusp of gem status, this intriguing rarity ended up selling for $12,000. Number 1. And this is 1969 Elizabeth II 10 cents with large date and large ship. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. There are various versions of how the 1969 large date variety came to exist. Some think the coin was struck in Philadelphia as a sample to show Canadian mint officials. Some think the coin was inadvertently struck from the retooled 1968 dies that were abandoned after the retooling process. The 1969 version looked in need of a sharp facelift. In any event the coin has become Canada's great modern rarity. This fantastic piece ended up selling for $14,400. That's all folks. If you have rare Elizabeth II coins you think are worth money, you can showcase them on our website. Take care.